Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I had a special request from Cassia. She asked me if I could make some Chinese knots out of wire. So I developed uh, this design that you could do on the jig, but you also don't need the jig to do this one. What I'm using for the project are um, 24 gauge artistic copper wire. I have my tools, round pliers, flat pliers, cutters. If you want earrings, you can have earring hooks and add some beads as well. This is the setup for the jig. I'll link up the template below as well as another template to make it without the jig. So I'm using 24 gauge wire because it's very thin and easy to bend and we want to just kind of bend it at the halfway point and then just center it on the jig here. This is the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. So I'm just going to go in like that out here and then in and then down. This is just to get the dimensions. You can also just measure it with a ruler. So we're just going to go in here, just pull it tight as you go so it's not too uh, slack and then that way and then that way. And then we have our basic shape for the knot. If you don't have the jig, you can just use a ruler and then just start the same way around the middle. Don't give it a super sharp bend though. You want it to be quite loose. And then we're just going to put it on the ruler and at about seven eighths of an inch, we're going to bend it out. And then here to around seven eighths of an inch. And then you are just gonna rotate it, put it here around like that. You can adjust them if you have to. And then here too, if it's easier, just get your pliers so it's a little bit more precise. And then we're going to put it back here and then bring that one down. And then here too, you can just like bend it under there. And then you have pretty well the same thing. So you just want to straighten these out, push these in a little bit, and we're just going to place it flat on the table, but pull these out a little bit. So just stick it here flat on the table and then just you want to bring these up but in a way that there's going to be a little bit of a space in there because you're going to see after we're going to put the ends through that space. So now we're going to take this one, hold this in place and bring it, bring it over here. And then this one too, this is why you use a thin wire because anything more than 24 is going to be too stiff. You could even make it with 26 if you want. And we're going to bend that one over here and then we're going to bend this one over here. And then what happens with this one, we're going to put the end in that little loop that we started with at the beginning. So lift it up very carefully, make sure those stay together. And we're going to take this end and stick it through that little loop. Stick it through there and then just pull it out. So it's very tricky to do with wire, but you just go slowly and then just pull these ends out as much as you can. So we've got the starting point and then if it helps, just get your round pliers and give it a little tug. So there, hold that. Give it a little tug and then here hold that and give it a little tug. So we have our kind of beginning part. There you can see the knot coming along. From there we'll put it back on the table. Keep the ends up here and this, this loop is going to come over here. So take this one and bring it around so you have that little space in there. So make sure there's that little space in there. So that's there and then hold that in place. And then this one, this end, it's going to come up over that one. See, so this one's over that one. And now this one is going to go over that one. So we're going to take this and put that one over that one. Okay. And then what you have are these ends that have to go through that first loop that you did. So just through here, right through that loop. 
and then just pull it through pull it through there so you have you see the the sort of knot thing going on and then pull it a little bit more and then now you're going to pull these ends out so take your round pliers again and give it a little tug rotate around give it a little tug and then this one too give it a little tug pull that one as well you sort of have your basic shape and now we have to pull the loops out of the sides so this one we can already see the loop is sticking there we're just going to put the round pliers through and just jimmy them in there a little bit okay so we've got the loop there and now we're going to go around and find our other loops here's one here you can see it sort of towards the back I'll stick that one in there just wiggle it up a little bit too we'll go back into these after and then over to this side if you have trouble going with like a little straight pin or something just to loosen it up a little bit and then you can go in with your pliers and get the ends in there you want to make sure you have like very uh, small round nose pliers try not to pull your knot too tight at the beginning and then we have the last little loop there so we're just going to stick the round pliers in there and just wiggle them in a little bit so just go like that give it a little wiggle and there you have your uh, four little circles there the four little loops and then you can go in and make them more even if they're not super even and from there what you want to do is these ones too you might have to make them a little more round you can go in with the round pliers and make them a little more round and then this one here I want to also make it into a loop so I'm just going to take one of these ones get my round pliers and put it in the in the right position like the height that you want it to be just compare it with the other ones to be sure it's more or less the same height so bring this one down and then this is the back anyways so what I'm going to do is just hold it here and bend it around the base of this loop so I'm just going to go around here push it right down in there so it's discreet and go it around twice and then it becomes part of the design so we'll just clip it there and then to finish this end we're just going to wind it around the base of this loop so just take this one here and then go around a couple of times on this side one two and then clip the end and then what you can do is just push those little sharp ends in and you'll see when you that's the back so there's a little line there but you won't see it because that's the back and there you have this beautiful little knot and if you want to make an earring just take a small piece of the same wire bend this out that way and around just around like that to make a loop and we're just going to wind that one around a couple of times so it's secure because this is a very thin wire and we'll give it a little clip and then we're going to take a little four millimeter bead this is a miracle bead we'll just stick it right on there and then we want this to be uh, perpendicular so we're just going to bend this the opposite way that way make a loop just make our little loop around like that and then we can put this one on there so we're just going to stick that one right on there hold it with your pliers bend it around a couple of times make sure it's really solid you could even use a slightly thicker wire if you want for this part if you want to use a 22 gauge or something and there we have the with the bead on there and you can add a earring hook I just buy these surgical steel earring hooks I'm just going to stick that one on there and there you have a pair of the beautiful Chinese knot earrings made out of wire 
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.